MustangMedic.com. Day six of the 1969 Mustang Coupe restoration project. All right, so here we are with the 69 Mustang and we're making really good progress. Here it goes. Okay, so we have added a overflow bottle to work with the radiator because what's happening is the car runs and like any normal car, it re releases uh, pressure and steam and water when you're done driving it and it feeds it into the overflow bottle. And then when the car gets hot and it needs it, it will put it back in. So they actually did not have overflow bottles in 69, but it is an absolute necessity for this car. So, so if we wants to go back to bone stock, we can take it off. But at this moment, it is a necessary item for the car. We got uh, breather caps for both valve covers. Uh, we're sticking with the two barrel right now and we're going to get a carburetor kit for it. We are going to just plug the PVC and we are not going to use it on this car because it's really not necessary. And here's the key element guys that helped the car cool down was this fan shroud. So we've got the fan shroud in and what else Rick? What else have we done to this? Oh, and the big, thank you, Rick, and the big thing is the key bezel. We found it in the junkyard, so we now have an ignition key back in the 69, not hanging any longer. We bought this plastic um, uh, facing for the stereo. We are looking for those stereo brackets, and we are taking off the old... Um, water temperature gauge, and we're going to replace it with this little cluster for temp, volts, and oil pressure. And it's nice and small, will go underneath there. It's kind of a necessity to be able to watch these uh, watch these things on this older car. And we'll decide when, it, if it goes to auction, as totally stock, we'll probably take these off. But right now, we are putting them in. If you appreciate our efforts to educate, please send a donation to the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at autobodymen.com. We want to thank a number of you who have already donated. We're very grateful. Ricky's been making good progress, sanding the rear end and cleaning up the axle. And we are going to basically just keep sanding and cleaning this entire car up. And then we're going to start to um, work on the front end. We have ordered uh, front and back shocks. We also ordered new springs for this thing. Um, he, the previous owner, had shortened the springs to lower the front end, and it is not handling properly, and it is very stiff. So we ordered new springs, shocks. We also are getting new discs, uh, new pads, and new bearings and bearing seals uh, for the front end. So basically the front end is going to be almost completely redone. Uh, the new rims are on the way. They're Magnum 500s and we have got BF Goodrich, raised lettering, Sport TA tires on the way. So definitely going to be having a nice setup on the rims and tires with the classic rim look. If you'd like to see our parts we've available, Mustang please visit mustangmedic.com. Hey guys, this looks familiar from the Cobra project. We are now sanding down and just cleaning up these uh, brake calipers. And don't worry guys, we're going to paint them black. We're not going to paint them red like I like. We're going to paint them black. Uh, we sanded this down. We started the sanding on the car. Uh, Ricky is going to do a little pan right now of the back end and the pro progress we're making. Haven't started sandblasting yet. We're just getting the big stuff out of the way. And then we'll decide what we got to sandblast. But we're just uh, getting off all the rust, starting to work on, you know, the surface rust. That's, fortunately, that's all this 69 has. Take a look.
Yeah. You know. I admit it, Ricky. It looks good. Yeah. He's very happy with sending down the, the uh, trans differential. Uh, there is the carburetor. We're about to take it off. We got a kit, so we're going to change out. We also purchased another filter since we got the new filters over here. We're going to get that filter changed out. We're going to work on this tonight and redo the carburetor with a new kit. And let me show you what we did at the tail end. And here is the fruit of Ricky's labor. He's been sanding or he's been wire wheeling this rear pumpkin like crazy. So we're getting this all cleaned up in the underbody right now. And we're awaiting the wheels. <clears throat> and we're awaiting the front shock, the front springs. We're going to change out those shocks. The back, big back brake pads are good. There's no issue with them. So we are going to change out the spring and both discs and bearings and pads on the front discs. And that should fix that problem at the front end. And the, the putting on the springs will bring it back up to normal height and normal uh, ride. Taking off the carburetor. <laughs> Ricky dropping a wrench in the engine. It's hot. <laughs> the wrench is hot? Yeah. Not the engine, but the wrench is hot. This, that's living in the desert, man, I'll tell you. Visit us on eBay for parts. Username Auto Body Man. Tell your Mustang enthusiast friends to subscribe to our channel and follow our progress. We promise to make it as informative and entertaining as possible. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com